Starting lineup just announced. We're just about set for basketball. We'll be back in a moment. Alamo. Like and subscribe, man. Welcome, I'm about everybody. To go dumb. Thanks for joining us for NBA action on 2K I'm about Sports. To, uh, play joining me tonight, Murray. Grant Hill and Steve Smith. I'm Brian Anderson, along with reporter Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Thanks, Brian. As you know, DeJounte Murray is scrappy. He said, yep. quote, it's in my DNA. I've yep. always been a dog. If I don't score a dog. point, I'm going to rebound or facilitate or play defense. That's the thing that you've got to have. I just do anything Let's go to for win. 30 points. Guys, they love his competitiveness. <laughs> he averaged 15.7 last year. Let's go for 30. He does get after it. Thanks, Allie. And a moment to check out who the San Antonio Spurs have coming up. On Friday, they'll be matching up with Andre Drummond and the Detroit Pistons. And then Sunday, they'll be matching up with Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. All right, let's check out San Antonio's starting lineup. And for the Jazz, the backcourt, it's Conley and Mitchell. Dark jerseys, Rudy Gobert shoes, is out there with Paul Millsap. And it's Bogdanovich shoes. in at the small forward position. And some teams a little slow out of the gate, Smitty, including a couple of contenders. B.A., if you're a true contender, you're not concerned at this stage. That was you know me, there's a not lot of over. season left to turn to things win. around. Sorry, Pop. I have to go dumb out here. Here we go. All the starters got on shoes. And it's going to be the Spurs off the tip. Pass to Murray. Here's Duncan. Oh, yeah, I thought he was going to stand right past. Millsap. Duncan, no good. Now Bogdanovich. Over to Rosen. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. One of the wrinkles Boyan has added to his game. Operating with efficiency in the mid-range area. Now here's Murray. He takes it in. And it's Murray finishing it off. What? Wait. If y'all hey, just gonna stand up here like that, the that just tells me, to, hey, it's my ball. Move by the point guard. My bucket to get. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Utah with the ball. The Spurs making their last shot. Here's Mitchell. Got a hand on it. And that'll be Utah's ball as it goes out of bounds. Jazz able to keep possession. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. That'll put some fear that into different the shoes. shooters. And he made sure to do it early, too. Ah, oh, because I made the other shoes the home shoes. I need to restart this game because I'm on the other shoes. And just about a minute into this first quarter. To the middle. So Fuck out of here, floor. Murray can afford to wait until the shooter commits. Count it. Good. Offensive rebounding is all about wanting it. Fantastic effort there, leading to second chance points. DeRozan finds Robinson. Now here's Murray. He's guarded you know, by He's going to pass it to me. Conley against Murray. Back to DeRozan. Six to shoot. Spurs need to get one up here. Pass to Duncan. Defensive breakdown. Murray attracts the team. He's going pass to me that time. Score, he... which opens up everything else. The Jazz have gone through really four so it. far. Conley against Robinson. Why you Murray brings the double. Robinson with the block. And he recovers it. Bear with the bucket. Why are they trying to put it out? Two the minutes corner, gone bro. by in the first quarter. Pass to Murray. I don't need you up here, David. Here's Ginobili. Clock at six. 
banked it in off the glass. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. And I'm going to give him a lot of credit because he saw what he was up against and he was undeterred. Here's Conley following the bucket by the Spurs. Pass to Gobert. Back to Conley. Outside Mitchell. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. The screener was leaning I'm, I'm a bit right Conley, there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. So difficult to stay planted. That's what happened because the computer always calling them down. You. Pits and Annoying and turnover. I don't call for that crap. Here's Ginobili. the right side and he takes that Ooh, one up and powers it noble. all he needed was a little separation so effective or cleared the path put him in position for a prime time dunk that's a big time move and a big time finish and so it's Utah with it. Mike, the Spurs making their last shot. That's to Bogdanovich. Back to Conley. Like, just having to bring the ball up, bro. Stop doing all that extra shit. And here's and that size up. On the arc. Kind of size up. And it's Ginobili with a rebound. Conley against Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. Attacking, putting his hand print. Come on, the road's a good game. My damn way, he bro. has that ability from a point guard to jam it on. Now here's Mitchell coming off a 12-point game. Fires for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Here's Murray. Here's Duncan. Dunk. Second chance effort. Six, and bro. the layup is up and in. Dunk. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Pass to Gobert. Mitchell with the ball. The baseline, J. And the jazz. He's got to make him go out of bounds. That sweet stroke of Donovan Mitchell. The defense can't allow him to get cooking from the mid range. The Rosen outside. Oh, wait and that one comes up a bit short. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. And the fight call for it. Yeah, the the Rosen's favorite shot still remains the mid-range jumper. I mean, they've tried the to stretch got him out with uneven results. Maybe better oh, to you got the angle, baby. with three-point shooters. Create space oh, in the medium range area to maximize his effectiveness. Here's the Rosen. What's up with y'all playing with my assist, man? It's good. What's wrong with y'all, bro? He has six. I love hey, man, y'all better give me my damn assist, man. Y'all better make these baskets, bro. Quit playing with me. Here's Mitchell. Five points in the game. Oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. Here's Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. And that tell you, man, I'll tell you, me, those finishes are always extra special when they come from your point guard. Oh, forget about his passing. Can we see more dunking? It just shows you the versatility. This guy what can do a lot of different things. Remember, we play against DeJounte. We're going to have a game. And Utah calls time here. Me and DeJounte. And now that they have that. some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade. Looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys would be sure to use this timeout wisely. Asabuki, he's checked in for Utah. Morgan comes in for Millsap. Over to the left wing. The Jazz again can't hit. San Antonio leading. Here's Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. I'll tell you what. It's good to be his age. Yeah. I'm a dog I like he told like you. That that the so. <laughs> now here's Conley. He picked up 10 in his last game. He's he trying to say it. And that was yeah, out of bounds. He's trying to say it. Last touch by Murray. Yeah. 
tries to get high screen. He's over. checked in for Mitchell. Emmanuel Moutier. I think I just really so what I did was this time for this game I put oh, somewhere Bogdan. Here's Conley. Pass to Morgan. So before I started this game, Back I gave Conley. 11, 12, and 13 players. Poke loose. Yeah, every time y'all try to set that pick, bro. We've got a minute 48 left in the first quarter of the game. Oh. Got it. That makes them five for where, five where, so far. <laughs> where Jai at? Big night in store. Where Jai at, baby? Where Jai? There's a I minute 40 left in the first quarter. Here's like to play with me. Back to Conley. Get pissed off with that. It's unnecessary. Come on, get Rudy. Get your ass out the way. Damn. And again, another missed shot. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. Come on, DeRozan. He can't hold you, baby. DeRozan against Bogdanovich. DeRozan, Outside Murray. Okay. Back to DeRozan. Gotta try it again, baby. DeRozan double team. Pass to Gay. Six on Look, the shot man. clock. Primo. Good. Yeah, Primo. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Timeout call. Maybe what I really need to do is Coach definitely get the wants guard to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. Because I put 11, 12, and 13, I gave them 15 minutes. And then helping out five through 10, shots. I only gave them seven You have minutes. to want to make the effort. But it's, always, it's really always like the guards who really mainly be coming in and getting more points. So maybe I just need to give all the front court guys. Left in the first. Outside Conley. Outside Bogdanovich. Over to Rosen. Bogdanovich, no good. Missed opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Bad for Pass to Gay. Let's it go from 11. Bro, what is over and they're going to count that. One bucket. assist, man. And they'll send him to the line. It I got be a three-point play. And I'm just impressed with their effort here early. They've hit the offensive glass so hard. Gay, no good on the free throw. Rudy Gay has been in the league for over a decade now. A valuable wingman with incredible length. To end the drought. Bogdanovich, no good. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Come on, DeRozan. With 92 overall. Back to Murray. Let's go with a three. And again, they it's the Spurs from deep. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Murray. Primo. Get you one. To the paint. Okay. And a big finish by Robinson. Robinson. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. It has helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. We're about 14. Bro. Spurs out in front. They lead by 14. Three point field Don't go anywhere, percentage. folks. We'll be back in a moment. I wonder if they gave anybody like hairier armpits than somebody else. <laughs> Even playing at Utah, Utah uh, Donovan uh, Mitchell has earned national recognition, but he's not letting it go to his head. At the end of the day, like, I'm here to, to play basketball and be the best teammate and the best player that I can be. I'm not trying to make this about me. This is team basketball. Like At the end of the day, we're, we're doing good things, and we just got to keep it up. Saying all the right things, Grant. Mitchell put a So Utah ends up going with a new group. Pass to Millsap. And here's Mitchell. Five points in the game. Oh. Not Over to Rosen. To me I'm to go out my Second shot opportunity. And blocked. That one goes careening off 
the glass. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. So on the floor for the Spurs. Murray, shot is good. Well, at the wing position, Grant, you were one of the league's best passers. Which wing Don't players do stand out to you in that dribbling, category bro. now? You know what? I, I mean, it may sound arrogant of me to say this, but LeBron, Luka Doncic, guys like that who really read the floor, they understand and can pick apart defenses at any position, what? those two are ones that stick out the most. That's a stupid-ass game stopping you again, bro. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Conley. Get your ass back, man. What you doing, Duncan? Inside. Duncan. Robinson Damn. with the block. And it's out of bounds. Utah Still ball. Utah's ball. Help defense on zero, man. The three from Mitchell. I can see he's pressing a little now, trying desperately to help them wow, shrink this that deficit. That's why I can't get my damn assist. Down low. Here's Duncan. Shakes off strong D and gets to the bucket for two points. 13 points in the game. Utah has gone only one of five from beyond the three-point line in the second quarter. Mitchell, the pass to Gobert. Outside Mitchell. What are you doing? I got to stay at home, bro. They need this. What are y'all doing? Two minutes, three minutes. Offensive rebound. Two minutes. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Good use of power by Rudy, getting the shot in the air despite the foul. You know, Rudy Gobert, the three-time defensive player of the year, is not satisfied. I think the seven-footer has one more that he might add before his career is done. And it's Murray off the drive. And it's Murray finishing around, it off. Bro, the keep going. And DeJounte is not holding no back assist. tonight. He is calling his own number. And for Utah, they're shooting a low 31%. They're the off the stupid. Mitchell, the pass to Millsap. Now Mitchell. Driving in. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot. So he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And the list of I really have to put this on shooting wheels. Or or defensive player I don't know. of the year. Hakeem. Matumbo, Ben Wallace, Dwight right, Howard, don't take me out of about Robin, and Rudy yeah, Gobert. Just, That's okay. historic go. company, go the bucket. I think Gobert is, honestly, sure underappreciated. Is. One of the all-time no greats when it comes to locking up. And staring up at a sizable like, deficit, the defense has to tighten Gettysburg, up. Uh, Battle of Gettysburg, I was standing in a straight line. Now Mitchell. 11 left in the first half. Gobert up top from deep. Conley. That shot missing. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. Right here. And it was an awful game defensively. They lost the individual matchups, and the help was slow to rotate. Point blank, this is a bad combination. I put everybody on crash. Stops, so. That's not the way. Conley passes to Mitchell. See if that helps with the power forward center trying to bring the ball up. The DeRozan against Bogdanovich. Back to Mitchell. Shot clock at six. Pass to Bogdanovich. And another miss by Utah. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Murray against Conley. Outside Murray. Here's Duncan. It's good. Somebody and the assist goes assist. to Murray. Murray's got his third assist of the night. Outside Mitchell. Jacks up a three. Second chance shot. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. And so the San Antonio Spurs up 25 big ones as we head right. into the next period. And I put the They've bench. done well to disrupt the, the opposition, to playing inspired defense. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm joined now by Coach Quinn Snyder, and they were giving you some trouble in transition. How do you slow them down? 
Well, I think we had a couple early where we were in good positions, players. we just didn't make the yeah, right read. And that's the biggest down. thing. Yeah, okay. More than yeah, anything, like whether it's a make or a miss or a turnover, we just got to really sprint back and be urgent. The sense yeah, of urgency players. is key. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. A big night so far for DeJounte Murray. He ended up with 19 points, three assists, and one block. He didn't perform up to his standards in their last game. Tonight's a different story. He obviously has a short memory. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? I like what they're doing offensively. Looking at their field goal percentage, they're moving the ball, getting great looks, mm. and of course, they're knocking down Shaq. I mean, that's the point of the game, isn't it? Shaq, right? That's the point. Obviously. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Utah? They're getting abused in the paint defensively, letting their opponents set the tone. Can't match up physically. You're toast. That's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. And that'll about do it as I we get ready for the second toast. half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, Joel what up? She put a slice of bread in the oven. She put five cuts of butter on her. And with the second Two half of us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Wow, what a performance by DeJounte Murray. He's been so disruptive defensively in the first half. His fast hands pick plenty of pockets. Well, if you want to get into your offense quickly before the defense can set up, creating turnovers is a great way to do it. Now Conley. Mitchell and Bogdanovich fill the wings. Paul Millsap is out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's Conley in at the point guard position. That's the five to begin the second half for Quinn Snyder. And he's going he to the line for back, two. What the I official saw do? contact while he was going up. That one on Murray. And look at Conley go right up back. inside. Masterful job getting the foul on that shot. Taking two shots. And Conley drops them both. Murray with it. To the middle. Pass to Duncan. Why is DeRozan passing so damn much? Here's Murray. He's guarded by Conley. Here's Ginobili. Five on the clock. Here's Duncan. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. 17 points in the game. They have now, no why are you saying the guard him, bro? Inside. What's wrong with this game, bro? Now, here's Millsap. Outside Mitchell. And there's the lob. Oh, and no pair powers at home. And he is built to be an alley oop threat. Long arms, terrific athlete. He went and got that one. Here's DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. There you go. He's a monster at the rim. So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Conley against Murray. Knocked away. And stolen by Murray. Oh, Back on the Spurs in transition. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. And he makes a first. At the line for the Spurs, Tim Duncan. Both good from the line that time. The Jazz shooting just around 32% from the field. Outside Mitchell. Oh, and yeah. Mitchell powers yeah. it home! What you love about Donovan Mitchell, not only does he explode into his moves, he finishes with authority. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about Duncan. What are you doing, bro? His presence. Murray against Conley. Murray passes to DeRozan. Right. Outside Murray. Shot clock at five. 
fires from 14. Goes back up. And it's DeRozan missing. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Bogdanovich passes to Mitchell. Back to Bogdanovich. And here's Millsap. Back to Bogdanovich. He got a piece of it. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D for the Jazz. Morgan comes in for Millsap. And it's Moutier in for Mitchell. And San Antonio with a change here, too. Gaze checked in. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. DeRozan against Bogdanovich. DeRozan outside. Just five to shoot. Oh, oh wow! Oh, he went oh my way up. Goodness. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Incredible leaper, explosive finisher DeRozan with one of his acrobatic dunks. And we talk about veterans adding to their games. DeRozan has become an excellent facilitator, something he really takes pride in. Here's Moutier. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. They're trying to best to get the bottom Mike. Fires from 14. San Antonio with a rebound. And DeRozan typically makes the simple pass over the flash. Wow. That's his style across the board. You won't see him on a ton of highlight reels for his passing, but he's about making the right play within the flow of the game. Pass to Moutier. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Yes, it's good. The Spurs have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Conley against Murray. Here's Gay. And it's in there. Rudy Gay. I like how he absorbed contact. Rudy Gay with the body control to finish through it. For Utah, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Pass to Gobert. Outside Conley. Here he goes over Murray, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line. Turning me around, two. yeah. That's his second personal foul. Second free throw drops for Conley. What I appreciate about okay, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for San Antonio. Anytime you get as many points from the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going. Their second chance points have been a story all night as well. That's just pure hustle. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. The Jazz shooting just 38% for this game so far. On the court for San Antonio. Here's Conley going inside. Good. Come on, man. Y'all got to Mike Conley, not letting That's the defense block, get man. the best of him down low. Now here's Murray. Well, there's talk now of how tight officials call the game, Smitty. You think the league would benefit from allowing play to be more physical? B.A., well, I don't think people want physical oh, play get to you dictate out. the game. Barely but get seen I by like out the game. For, you know, the defense to be able to at least use an arm bar. Maybe not hand check like we did back in the day, but an arm bar just to be able to have the game kind of even out for the defensive players. Well, we know Murray lives with the ball in his hands. That's what makes his improvement at the line so crucial. How do I, how do you do a damn crossover dribble and then he touch the ball? Tips. Fuck out of here. And he gets it back. Bogdanovich against DeRozan. Six to shoot. Inside, Mitchell. And a nice finish on the layup. You see the vision for Paul Millsap. That's another area that he provides for his teams. And for the Spurs, their shooting has been great this game. 58%. Conley against Murray. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. From the wow. moment when he sticks his foot in the ground and puts his head down, DeJounte Murray is explosive and fast.
Here's Millsap. Pass to Mitchell. To the paint. Here's Gobert. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Mitchell's got his fifth assist in this one. After a brutal first half from the field, their shots are finally starting to fall. Uh, no, you didn't. Outside Murray. And without the crowds to start last season, easier to hear some of the trash talk. Smitty, when you played, did you occasionally resort to a little smack talking yourself? No, B.A., I didn't call it trash talking. I call it just talking. Get yourself pumped up for the game. Y'all kept moving in my damn way. Your opponent's head. I would have loved to be able to do it without fans in the gym. Bogdanovich into the lane, and it's out of bounds. Still Utah's ball. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. San Antonio on D. Outside Mitchell. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge. But it would be hard to argue against the call. It's often a tough call that can go either way. But I agree with you on that one. Murray against Conley. We're trying to control my movement, bro. Left side Murray. Driving to the basket. And it's Murray finishing it off. I just love this kid's fearlessness. Goes right at him. Draws contact. It doesn't matter to him. The Jazz have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. And Utah calls time here. Wow, what a performance by DeJounte Murray. You have to make it harder for him to score. Deny the ball, even double. Whatever it takes to force someone else to beat you. I didn't want to get 30 for real. Y'all made me get 30 because y'all wouldn't hit the basket, bro. Getting my damn assist. We're in the final quarter play here. Three minutes in. Millsap, right side. Rebounded by the Spurs. Robinson's got seven rebounds in the game. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Murray, shot is good. He's carried much of the scoring load tonight. And with the win in reach, don't expect him to let up. The Jazz shooting just under 40% from the field. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Millsap finds Bogdanovich. Now here's Conley. Clock at six. Oh, dunk it. Out of bounds. It'll go okay, to the Spurs. Nice. For the Jazz. Bradley, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Clarkson comes in for Mitchell. And Butler is subbed in for Conley. Let me point another guy like six. Here's Murray. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Pass to DeRozan. Over Bogdanovich. And it's DeRozan God, missing. Damn, yeah, Sometimes man. it's just uh, a Fortunately, his teammates have picked up Bruh. the ball. And the Spurs with oh, yeah, no excuse. Why am I in the game? San Antonio, Josh Primo. One shot. Utah with the ball. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Moody A. Driving inside. And a strong finish with two hands. Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result I mean, like we that, we in here with a bunch of guards, man. Especially if the defense is going to allow <laughs> you to do it. You have to switch on that. Bruh, point. what is this? We in here with a bunch of guards. And here's Murray. Yo, this game. So it's San Antonio easily grabbing this one. 
Boy, I, was like, I looked at the clock. I was like, ooh, three seconds. Let's go. Try to make a bad. <laughs> Let me go dunk on somebody real quick. We're here with damn five guards, bro. You like, this is some damn college to basketball. And cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much. Damar, a big time road win for you guys. How were you able to get it done? We came out aggressive. Both ends, we knew it was going to be tough. Um, it's a great team. We understood if we came in here and played with the intensity that we know how to play with, uh, we could walk out of here with a victory. You matched that intensity. Congrats on the win. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. So for Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. We'll see you later. Okay, so just keeping it at eight kind of worked more towards my plan. Except for here, he still came in and got 13. Oh wait, nah, he at the end of the Nah. He part of the second unit. So for some reason he played a lot. We don't take as many timeouts as the computer though. That's right. The computer calls more timeouts than I do. Look at this. Only had six. Damn, Kelder. All right, man. I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. How I'm going to do this. 